We begin with Donald Trump. A Trump campaign advisor is walking back controversial comments about rape. Today, Michael Cohen released this statement saying, I want to clarify a, a statement I made to the Daily Beast. As an attorney, husband, and father, there are many injustices that offend me, but nothing more than charges of rape or racism. They hit me at my core. Rarely am I surprised by the press, but the gall of this particular reporter to make such a reprehensible and false allegation against Mr. Trump truly stunned me. In my moment of shock and anger, I made an inarticulate comment, which I do not believe and which I apologize for entirely. That comment, you can't rape your spouse. Trump's lawyer initially made the comment in response to a Daily Beast article. The article was about Trump's ex-wife, Ivana, saying she once used the term rape in a court deposition about her husband. The story first came out in a 1993 biography. Ivana Trump said then that her words should not be interpreted in a literal or criminal sense and now says the story is totally without merit. Joining us from Washington is Nancy Cordes to help us break all of this down. Nancy, what are you hearing from the Trump campaign? Uh, well, aside from this statement from uh, Michael Cohen, who uh, technically doesn't work for the campaign, he works for the Trump Organization, uh, they've been pretty silent. Uh, they did put out uh, that statement from Ivana Trump uh, today uh, saying that uh, the story is without merit and that, by the way, she thinks that uh, Donald Trump would make an incredible president. But other than that, we haven't heard much from the campaign. And Donald Trump himself is on his way to Scotland for a uh, golf tournament. So he is out of the country uh, and won't be able to uh, make any comments here until he gets back on Thursday or Friday. Do you expect Donald Trump to address this himself if he does, or do you think he would use a lawyer? You know, uh, I've never known uh, Trump to avoid addressing anything, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, at the very least, he's going to be asked about it in interviews, and he tends to do a lot of interviews. Uh, so he knows that he will have to talk about it at some point. And, uh, you know, he hasn't shied away from talking about other controversies and other controversial things he's said and done. So uh, who knows what he will say, uh, but I don't think he'll shy away from saying it. Could this impact him in the polls? Uh, it could. Um, uh, you know, perhaps less so now that Cohen has apologized in a fashion. Uh, you know, I think that uh, people are uh, used to the unexpected when it comes to Donald Trump. Uh, they're, they're used to a certain level of, of crudeness. Uh, certainly the, the, just the term rape, uh, the possibility that he could have um, been aggressive with his wife even all those years ago will turn some people off. But then again, uh, Ivana Trump is now saying and actually has been saying for decades that she doesn't consider uh, what happened back then to be rape. So it, it's a bit of a of a murky situation, and it's, it's hard to say. There are other incidents that have taken place that people thought would hurt him in the polls, uh, like his comments about John McCain, and they didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, he looks to have a bit of Teflon on him at this point. And Ivana also kept coming out saying that she's the best of friends now with Donald Trump. So mm -hmm. we shall see. Nancy Cordes in our Washington bureau, thank you very much. You're welcome.